Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Kurval.com and uh, today I want to show you a great data source for uh, location data, geographical data. Uh, if you have seen the Rio Summer Olympics report, I will post a link here, uh, you will see that I am using geographical data on it, so I'm using countries continent subcontinent and uh, some of you high in the overall actually asked me if I could share that data with you and I offer the data in the video I have shared the data but that is not the best way to do it the best way is of course if you could pull the data from from a source online so inspired by your questions I've actually been searching for a good data source for this that is free and I have found it, so I thought I would share it with you today. Let's look at how it looks like. So here's our data source. Um, I'm not sure who is behind this. It doesn't the, the site doesn't say that much. Um, but I will post, the, of course, the link as always on the description box. So don't worry about that for now. Uh, here, what we have is a possibility to query his data source. Uh, in a number of ways. So we could uh, get a list of all countries or we could search by currency or country code, well, country name, sub-region. I mean, this is a really, really nice data source. And if you want to see how it looks like, you can just try it here, right? So here, name Aruba, this is the name of the country, and then this is the result you will get. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to go back to the Rio report and uh, we're going to use this data source so you see how it works. So we, you will be able to download this file, so don't worry about that. Um, so here we had, I don't know if you remember, uh, a list of uh, countries that came from the Rio Olympics data source. And then we had the ISO 3 code and we match that together with the Olympics uh, country code, which is, of course, not the same. And uh, what we wanted to do is uh, to be able to have the country together with the continent and subcontinent to see, okay, how well was Europe doing or how, was, how well was the, U the Americas doing? So a higher level. And uh, to do this in this report, we were using my Google Analytics data. But I understand, of course, that not everybody has Google Analytics. So this is not a very good approach, friendly approach. So let's use the source that we just got. So what we're going to do is new source from web. And now we are going to match with the ISO code Every time you can use the ISO code, if the, that is not available, you can use the name, but it's preferably to use the code, it's more accurate. So we're going to go back to our source, and then here is the country code. So we copy that, we're going to paste it in here. Don't worry about Colombia for now, let's just leave it as it is. So, it made the connection and it gave us a list. We're going to convert the list to table. And then we're going to transpose because we want to have these as columns. So we go to transform, transpose. And the last thing we're going to do is to have the first row as headers. So, and here we have everything. We have Colombia, Alpha 2 code, Alpha 3 code. We have uh, the capital, region, sub-region. I mean, this is an absolutely amazing data source. You have currencies, languages. I'm not going to expand on this. You can do it yourself and explore the data set yourself. For now, that's not interesting. And what we need to do now is Instead of having Colombia here, we need to populate these with our um, list of countries, right? 
So we've done this before. We're going to create a parameter in here. We call it location data. And now we want to substitute that with the results of our parameter. So and we're going to call that function location, for example. So now that we have that working, we go back here and we said that we will match the ISO code, right? So we're going to go to add column, custom column. And now we're going to call in the function that we just created. With our ISO code, right? And for now, we expand only on the country. So nice, right? So if instead of using the ISO code, you would like to match with the country, the only thing you have to go is come here and pick this URL instead, and you will replace where it says Aruba with your variable and then it will work. So this is all for today. I hope you uh, enjoy the, the short but useful video, hopefully. Um, if you like it, please let me know. Um, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe. I publish videos every week. Have a nice day. Bye.